If you want an example of how much can change in just a few years, look no further than Isaiah Hartenstein. Across the 2021 and 2022 NBA seasons, he played for three different teams. In the summer of 2022, he signed a multi-year deal with the Knicks and has made a massive impact this season as the team's starting center after Mitchell Robinson got hurt. Now Hartenstein's set for a big payday this summer and is a key piece on a Knicks team that's one win from the Eastern Conference Finals. What makes him so valuable? Let's take a deeper look and find out. To measure Hartenstein's impact on the offensive end, you have to look deeper than just his scoring, though it's worth noting he has a signature shot. Hartenstein's incredibly efficient on floaters in the paint, and has converted 64% of them in this postseason. The ability to make shots from there also opens up his underrated passing. This is a possession from the first round series against the 76ers. Dante DiVincenzo draws multiple defenders attacking the closeout, and Hartenstein gets to his sweet spot for a floater though this drive also puts Nick Batum in a tough spot. He rotated to help on DiVincenzo, but Hartenstein's so efficient on the floaters, Batum couldn't afford to leave him alone. Hartenstein already anticipated this coming, and immediately kicks it out to OG Ananobi for the open three. Hartenstein's also very good operating out of handoffs, but one area he really brings value to the Knicks is offensive rebounding. The Knicks crash the offensive glass more than any team in the league, which if they don't execute, can lead to transition baskets for opponents. Though when you have success on the offensive glass, it leads to defenses scrambling. With Hartenstein's passing, this becomes even more valuable. This is an example from one of his 12 offensive rebounds last night. Look how many Pacers are surrounding him once he catches the ball. The Pacers' defense now has to reset, and look at the space Jalen Brunson has once he receives the ball from Hartenstein. Pascal Siakam closes out to chase him off the three-point line, but it leads to an open pull-up jumper that Brunson converts. This postseason, Hartenstein has had some trouble defending the three-point line, though this was a breakout year for him on the defensive end, and he's shown some examples of why during this postseason run. Despite being a seven-footer weighing 250 pounds, Hartenstein does have some decent lateral movement. On this possession, Hartenstein had to switch and defend Pascal Siakam as he goes downhill off the handoff. From this freeze frame, you'd think Siakam can easily get downhill for a layup against the bigger defender, though Hartenstein does a nice job getting back in the play and contesting the layup. This is another possession that highlights Hartenstein's anticipation and movement. Initially here, he rotates to double the ball handler, but this leads to an advantage for the Pacers. Hartenstein realizes this and makes sure to rotate to the rim and takes away what should have been a dunk without fouling. These are some of the reasons why Hartenstein has been so valuable to the Knicks this year, along with why he'll have a nice market in free agency this summer. He can make a difference on the offensive end without scoring, given his strong offensive rebounding and ability to create for others. Then he's proven he can contribute in various ways on the defensive end of the floor. Hartenstein's turned himself into a capable starting center, and after the two-year stretch where he played for three teams, will now have no shortage of suitors this summer who want him for the long haul.